What's going on, everybody? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to the channel. As I am making this video right now, I'm looking at the charts. We are hitting an intraday high of 2347, guys. I told you this week was going to be different, and holy crap, it definitely is up 20% intraday. Guys, in this video, I want to talk about tomorrow, Friday. There's a lot of you know, uh, talk around all over the internet on YouTube about the hedgies want the, to run the price up to $50 to make you sell and it's not the squeeze and talking all about this. So guys, we're going to cover that. I also want to talk about a question that as the price continues to rise, people continually ask me, Jeff, what is the price you're selling at? What is the price you're exiting? And my strategy for this stock is definitely different than um, other stocks. I have some of them that are long-term hold. I have swing plays where I have you know, a certain price point as my stop loss and a certain price point as my exit. And there's one key factor that I'm looking at very closely when it comes to AMC stock. And I want to talk about that in this video. We are testing a new intraday high right now as I'm watching these charts, guys. But listen, stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. For those of you that are new to the channel, all I ask is that you hit that like button and subscribe and join the family. And if you're interested in joining our private community where we go over plays beyond AMC guys, and all about AMC, guys, check it out. First link in the description. We'd love to have you. Let's get rocking. First off, this is what I was looking at as I was telling you guys. Intraday high, 23.47. Tried to get a little sell off at the beginning. I uh, peeked at my phone. It was a 6:30 Eastern Standard Time. After that little 4 to 5 a.m. Uh, you know, little rundown, but that didn't last, and uh, we never hit as low as what the what do we hit? A little under 18 bucks. At what time was that? About, about 5 a.m. and that was it. But guys, I want to take a look at this. I'm going to jump over so I can see a couple of different screens running here. Okay, but this is the Ortex, and this is the shares on loan. All right, and I've talked about this before, and I believe yesterday was about 131 million. So when people are asking and talking about this price point, Jeff, what's the price you're selling? Is it 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 10,000? It doesn't matter what you got, what your number is in your mind. I don't have a, I'm not looking at a, a price target on AMC stock. I am going to be heavily monitoring and paying attention to when the shares get covered because the price may inevitably run to 50, 100, 250, probably not too much further than that, but 250 before at least they be some you know these smaller hedge funds begin to start covering and that's what i'm going to pay very close attention to and it's going to run hand in hand once you see a lot of covering we're talking about 10 10 million down 15 million down you're going to see that price absolutely rip on top of the day traders jumping on the fomo kicking in i mean gosh i can see fomo even already happening now but that's the number one thing i'm going to pay attention to so if you didn't watch my last video i wanted to cover it next thing guys take a peep at this volume already over 200 million but here's one thing I really wanted to point out to you guys, even uh, like I had said on that on that Ortex, okay, what do we got? Let me get back to this tweet. We've only got a, about a million uh, shares that have been returned according to Ortex. I just had their, their tweet up, but it says right here, short sellers estimated loss for the week. Right here, our trading in the market AMC is up 4% and still no shares have been returned. So what does that mean, guys? Don't look at this as a price point. We got into this play because of the insane amount of overshorting that was done. So we're not exiting this play until the shares get covered and get returned. So just picture, you know, GameStop for a minute. Let's just take a step back and, and look at GameStop for a minute, guys. So it ran all the way up to 500 and change on that, you know, that I think it was pre-market high, the 500 and change. Went all the way back down to 40 bucks. A lot of people could have said, okay, that was the squeeze and so forth, but the people that really looked into this, you know, this data, which now you have, you know, a ton of, you know, uh, you know, people doing, you know, their own, you know, due diligence and research on the stock. But the people that really knew what was going on knew that, wait a minute, the price might have gone down, but inevitably those shares have not been covered. And that's why, you know, huge players continue to double down and so forth. And now look at the price. It's back up around that $250 price point. So the same thing is going to happen. Whether AMC runs to 40, 50, 100, my eyes are going to be really kept close on when are the shares getting returned. And like I said, guys, it's going to go hand in hand. You're not going to see shares being returned and price dropping or price staying stagnant with the amount of, you know, uh, you know, options volume that that's coming into this, the buying pressure, everything is just really, really coming together for us. I'm going to jump over here just to show you guys, even like the last seven days on Google trends, um, I think it's funny because everybody else is now covering Google Trends, but this is something I, I've used. Uh, I've used in marketing. If you're if you're a marketing guy or sell physical products, it's a phenomenal tool to use. But like I said, guys, we're just continuing to gain rounds. Okay, so 
keep that in let me take one last little peep at the charts here we are at 2312 and then guys we are going to talk about the hedge funds wanting the price to run up to 50 dollars I don't know really where this started, but it seemed like it just really cut on wildfire. And everybody's saying, guys, be careful. The hedgies are going to purposely let the price go up to $50 um, by tomorrow. And then next week, they're, you know, they're going to hammer it down. They want the paper hands to sell and so forth. Let me just tell you this, okay? If the price gets to $50 tomorrow, it's gone way out of hand, okay? They're, they're, they cannot keep a wrap on this, okay? And these broker-dealers... Okay, and the market makers, they're definitely going to be calling and saying, listen, this price has gotten way too high out of hand. We have way too much risk exposed. There would be an insane amount of options that are deep in the money. Okay, there is no way that they can hang on to letting this price run to $50 just to get some people to sell in order to drive the price back down, short it on the other side and so forth. That play will not happen, okay? I'm not going to say it can't run to $50, then you've got some paper hands in selling. But as far as the hedge funds letting the price run to 50 wanting the price run to 50 that is in way too far out of hand. Way too far out of hand. So I don't think that's going to happen. I will say this, though, guys. We are up against on a three-day weekend. And I know AMC plays a little bit differently you know, than the stock market as a whole. I am a little bit surprised that the stock market is green today, even with AMC and GameStop ripping because a lot of times they, they 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 run inverse of each other but pay attention every time there's coming up on a three-day weekend especially a big one like Memorial Day or Labor Day a lot of a lot of these traders a lot of investors they end up taking the Friday off they end up taking half a Friday off they might even bounce early on a Thursday if they had a good week okay this week has been a good week not just for AMC for overall in the market um, I'm you know, playing I'm, I'm on both sides of the market as well. So keep that in mind for what might happen tomorrow. Um, because like I said, I've seen it many, many times going into these three-day weekends and especially those two, just because, I mean, this is the kickoff of the summertime. You know, people got the boats firing up, the barbecues firing up for the first time. So keep that in mind. But guys, I really wanted to cover letting this price run up to $50 just to be able to slam it on the way down. That's way too out of hand. Maybe letting it ride up to, you know, the 15, 16, even that $20 price point. I, I can completely fathom on their tactics to be able to do it. It hasn't worked. You saw that $14 wall that was strong numerous times. Over, over, I mean, we went through this numerous times, hitting that $14 and bouncing down. That was a strong wall. $20 had a pretty strong wall, too. We broke right through that. Ain't no way they're letting this thing ride all the way up to, to $50 when it was just at $10. Okay, it's a 500% freaking increase to be able to slam it down. They're way over leveraged. And the amount of risk would be astronomical. So. Guys, take that off the table. Not to say it's not going to, you know, run its normal course. It will, but letting it run to fifty dollars to run down is going to happen. So, guys, pay attention. I'm going to be watching this continuing for the for the rest of the day. We're still sitting at that twenty dollars price point. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.